Hey everyone, welcome to the SQL interview series of Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video, we are going to see how we can write an SQL query to find the employees that have the same name and email address. This is a simple question with one of the trickiest thing. The trick here is to find out the employee name which is repeating but the employee email ID should also be the same. So the question states that you have to write a query to find the employees that have the same name and email ID. So you have same name here. For example, my name is repeating five times over here and the email ID is also repeating five times. So the output should be Atul. Okay. Then you can see that there is Wasim who also has the same name. There is no last name and the email ID is also same. So output also contain Wasim. Now, when you see the data at first, you will see that the employee ID is different. But in this question, you can see that they have simply asked the name and email. They have not mentioned anything about the employee ID. So you have to ask this question to your interviewer that whether the employee ID have to be taken into the concern while writing the query or not. And the simple trick that will give us the output is the group by so we'll use the group by on two columns which is name and email and it will give us the list of employee which has the same name and the email address so let's go to our workbench before we write the query we have to see the data of the table and the data for this question is in employee table so we'll simply put select star from sql interview dot imp which is my employee table and now if i run this you can see that we have the same data which we discussed right we have employee id employee name and email id so as you can see here atul is repeating five times Vaseem is repeating two times so in our output we should get Atul and Vaseem now to get the output what we'll simply do is that we'll write select and then we'll give the columns which is required in our output so in our output we would need employee name and then we'll need the email id so we will put email id and then we'll give the table name from SQL interview dot EMP, which is my employee table. And then we will use the group by function. So we'll put group by employee name and employee ID, employee email ID. Now this query will not give us our exact output, which we require because this will give us the entire sorry i have to give two here so this query will give us the entire list of employee name and em and email id a unique list of employee name and email id so let's run this query so you are getting atul vasim faz and prakash but as you have seen atul was repeating five times vasim was repeating two times so our output should only contain these two records in order to find out the employees that have same name and email we need to find the frequency of this employee name and email id to get the frequency of both of these two columns what we can do is that we can simply put count star okay as let's put frdq okay now let's run this query now you are having atul and email id frequency 5 vasim vasim's email id and frequency 3 faz faz email id 1 and prakash prakash email id 1 so we have to get these two records in our output now you might think that how we can get only these two records and in our question the interviewer has not asked us to give us the frequency he has only asked us to give the name and the email id so what we can do is that we can use the having condition in our query so what we'll do after this group by we'll simply put having 
count of a star greater than equal to 2. Now if I run this query, I am getting Atul and Vaseem which has frequency above or equal to 2. So as per our question, we just have to give name and email, right? So we'll remove this count function from here and we will run this query. So you are getting the employee name and the employee email ID which is appearing more than once in your table. So this is how you can write an SQL query to find the records that have same value in a particular table using the group by function and the having clause. If you want to practice more SQL interview question, you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you want to learn SQL from scratch, you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.